explain the deal that was made for, for Julian? Look, uh, we, I want to speak about the positive things first. Um, we, we signed Julian uh, almost a year ago, and we knew that it came with a risk because we had to sign him without him letting know before it. And I think it was an amazing year. Julian has helped us to, to do a step forward as an organization, as a team, to change the way we play on the pitch. And uh, so it was a story full of success. Um, what happened now is that a thing that we knew before, that his contract is coming to an end at the end of the year, and that after a long thought process, he has let us know um, during the Gold Cup um, that um, he really wants to keep the door open to go back to the East, uh, to be closer to his family and friends. And then we have openly discussed with him um, if he would consider such a move if there is a club that is interested in him um, right now and to give us the, the possibility to also prepare for his departure and use some of the allocation money that we are getting and using some of the freed up cap space to, to fill the gap that we have now. And um, then we had open discussions. We have uh, let him participate in the whole thing. And um, then a club like Columbus came and it wasn't the only club. Um, some clubs in the East, but Columbus uh, was the club that made not only the best offer, that was also the club um, that Julian um, was very happy with to, to join at this point. And um, at the end, in this business, the most important thing is that you get to a point to a situation where it is beneficial for all parties. And um, although we lose a very important piece, it also leaves us now with uh, a lot of allocation money, uh, op uh, op open cap space to, to try to do the next step with this roster and, and to fill the gap in a way that it helps us in mid and long term. So how long have these been discussions going on for? Look, the discussions about the contract extension have, have started like uh, two months after he arrived here. And um, we then have helped him to settle his family here. We have supported him with all necessary steps um, to feel to feel welcomed and, and good here with his family. His wife gave birth to his second kid here. So there is a lot of things that great, great things that happened in this time. Um, but I, uh, I always knew that um, there is a possibility that he wants to keep the door open. I don't think that he ever said there is no chance ever I stay in Vancouver. But he said, look, if, if the possibility comes up, I want to, to move back to the East. And um, so we are discussed what is the, what happens if the possibility comes up now. So, I mean, he said all the right things when he came here and clearly something changed. Do you know what changed? No, yes, yes. I think nothing has really changed. Um, I think, um, um, as I said before, he has never said, even now, not yet, that there's no chance ever he would stay in Vancouver. The thing is, if a player tells you as a club, I want to keep the door open and I want to go into the free agency, uh, that means if you have such a player who is becoming a national team player of the US, who is one of the best players in his position, you lose a lot of value. And, and this brought us into a situation where we said, look, if you want to keep your door open and if there's a possibility to do it now and we can benefit from it as well, would you open to do it? And so we had to get to a point where it is the best solution for all parties. Why would you take that risk, though? I mean, in putting your stock in someone who you weren't sure they were going to stay here, why would you look to someone who you could have more certainty with? Because of that, what I said in the beginning, we were really convinced that Julian can help us with his personality. And it's more than the player on the pitch, it's also his personality, also his leadership on and off the pitch, in the locker room to do the next step, to grow as an organization. And I think if you go back and look at the time when Julian joined this club, and if you look how the team has played with and without him in the last weeks, we are a different, different team now. We are at a different point now. And for us, it was important to get also this leadership into the locker room, to get this personality onto the pitch. And now it's our job few other players around have grown, but now it's our job to, to add the important pieces again. And, um, and, and I would say 
uh, our aim now is is to use this allocation money and to use this open spot and this open cap to to add two pieces that help us in the long term and not try to replace Julian with just another Julian. We want now to go the next step um, with with this club and with this team. Do you have players and positions that you're targeting? Yes, we have players and positions we are targeting. And we are very careful to speak about that because the price is all raised now in this second. This uh, announcement was made. And uh, we will continue to use the remaining time in this window. And we will use the time into the next window. Um, because I'm not saying that we will spend everything now in this window. But um, I think also, and this is a message to everyone who is following this club, um, a lot of players have grown at on site next to Julian. And that was also a thing that he gave us. I don't know if, if Pedro Vita, if Ali Ahmed um, would have grown in the central midfield in this way if they would not have had a leader like Julian next to them. And uh, we also think that they are now up and ready to, to do the next step and, and to take a more important role in, in the remaining season.